what is going on guys it's your boy phoenix here back with a brand new marvel spider-man 2 informational video and today we got some news regarding spider-man 2's dlc so if you guys haven't already make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button down below hit that subscribe button if you guys are new and without it out let's go ahead and jump right into it so this article from game rant says a twitter post from insomniac has fans concerned that the upcoming story dlc for spider-man 2 may be delayed while the first Spider-Man game quickly added story expansions shortly after launch in 2018, Spider-Man 2 hasn't seen any story DLC for almost a year on the market. The studio's productivity may have been impacted by the recent layoffs and the December 2023 ransomware attack. Now, as you guys know, at the end of last year, Insomniac was hacked and every single piece of information on what games they were working on, as well as the DLC, got leaked. So... Following that, it says fans of Marvel Spider-Man 2 may have to wait even longer than anticipated for a story DLC announcement, according to a recent update from developer Insomniac Games. As Spider-Man 2 approaches its first anniversary, the PlayStation 5 first party exclusive has yet to see any major content updates that further the narrative of the base game. Insomniac has supported Spider-Man 2 with smaller updates that added new suits, minor gameplay features, and a heavily requested new game plus mode. However, the studio has remained tight-lipped on the prospect of story DLC for Spider-Man 2, which struck many fans as odd given that the previous Spider-Man title began receiving story expansions less than two months after the launch. Interestingly, the devastating December 2023 ransomware attack on Insomniac reveals the studio does have free-to-play story DLCs planned for spider-man 2 but with barely any mention of a target release window now my guess is that we are going to get a trailer in september at the rumored playstation showcase with it dropping in october to help match up with the new venom movie that's coming out in october as well now if you guys don't know i'm gonna stick with my prediction because i did predict that the game was going to release in october last year so i'm gonna stick with my prediction i'm gonna stick with it just like i said so Following that, it says, leaked files also showed that the first Spider-Man 2 story DLC purposely focused on the featured Lady Beetle, a rather obscure villain from comic lore. Since then, Spider-Man 2 fans have been waiting for an official announcement about the DLC, but to no avail. Moreover, a recent post from Insomniac's official Twitter account now suggests that the studio might need more time to work on Lady Beetle story expansion responding to a fan for news on the DLC. And Somniac simply stated they don't have anything new to announce. The long awaited lack of news surrounding Spider-Man 2's story expansions have led to concerns about the potential cancellation among some fans. Now, another thing too that I wanna point out by this tweet, they didn't say no if they didn't weren't gonna show us anything yet. Cause if there wasn't going to be any DLC, they would flat out just say, hey, there isn't gonna be a DLC. So I'm still holding out for hope. Now, for you guys that are thinking that DLC is canceled, it is not canceled at all because like I said before, they would have just flat out just said, no, there isn't. Another thing as well is for the fact that they also said that they were hands on deck for Wolverine, which means that the DLC is finished and they're just waiting to announce them when the time is right, like they did last year. They were dropping hints of stuff every single time. Like they said they were released a trailer when they're ready. So I'm gonna trust them and I'm gonna say, hey, I'm just gonna wait for them to release a trailer when they feel the time is right. Now, as for Wolverine, as you guys know, the team working on it made Miles Morales. So I think that they already planned that out before Miles Morales dropped and Brian Intihar took over from Marvel Spider-Man 2 and wanted to get the trailer for the DLC done and have Brian Horton come in full force to work on Marvel's Wolverine, which to me sounds like Marvel Wolverine is their Uncharted 4 because I could see Intihar wanting to work on the trailer for the Spider-Man 2 DLC and then have Horton come in full force to work on Wolverine. So without a doubt, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. It's been your boy Phoenix, and I'll see you guys later with another spectacular, spidey, webtastic banger.